Today we are exploring the math app called Number Frames. And Number Frames is a great resource for students that are practicing grouping numbers, counting, building arrays, um, and essentially working out any math problem that they might need a visual representation for. So to the left you have a couple of options here. You'll see that I have a set of red and blue counters which is really nice. So anytime um, students kind of are drawing pictures whether it's from a number story of, of any specific animal or object they can use these counters to kind of build a visual picture for support but they can also use it um, to build arrays or, or other groups. So starting at the top you can actually choose a frame and it gives you some predetermined ones 5, 10, 20 frame or a 100 frame. You can also drag this little box to build your own which is really nice and you can see how it's reinforcing the multiplication with the number sentence down at the bottom. So if you want one of these frames you can click use this or if you want one of the pre ones you can just simply drag it out. These counters are really nice because, again, you can manipulate them on the page anywhere you'd like. But if you are placing them into a grid, you'll see once I hover over it, it automatically disperses them in groups of five for me. Um, and what's really nice is even if I grab a 10 and I place it right here, it will continue to disperse them. Um, so you can drag them in groups of ones, fives, or tens. And if I'm, you know, trying to show different proportions and different colors, I can do that. The little tool at the bottom allows me to pick different counters. So just for fun, if I'd rather have frogs um, rather than circles, we can do that. You can also change colors down here, which is nice. And um, then you have some other tools at the bottom. So I'm going to start with a clean slate by hitting that erase button down here in the bottom left. You can see it looks like a little wheel. But um, you do have the ability here if you're pulling out um, these grids to kind of turn on and off the the shading that differentiates every fifth box. You can also change the direction in which your grid is laying and then of course you can duplicate it. So if you needed to double that you could. You also have the ability to kind of write out number sentences or equations and then of course to draw. So if you wanted to um, turn your visual representation into a number sentence you could absolutely do that and kids could um, write out or show you um, what they made in a picture if they were to build something such as a 5x5 five five, um, just as an example. So some really great features. Again, great um, time saver for those students who are still in a place where they need a visual representation or they need to kind of draw out when solving those problems. This allows them to kind of get these counters and and use them quickly. It also is a great resource for like I said building arrays and, and showing the area of an array and how it ties to multiplication and then of course just a whiteboard so where students can show their understanding and then of course take screen captures or whatever it may be to save their visual image for that math creation and collaboration. The last button I'll show you here is that eye icon which again just goes over the um, basic functions of the app and then gives you some additional resources if you'd like to explore more. So check out Number Frames. It is a great resource.